Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untitled Warrior here coming at you with another sneaker mystery box episode. Guys, this mystery box is another huge one. We've been getting like back to back to back expensive boxes and this is another one. This one's actually going to be $5,000 from a company that you guys know well, soulsteals.com. And I really like that this is like a back to back 5,000 a week because this way you guys can actually compare the $5,000 Soul Steals membership mystery box versus the P-Town Kicks mystery box. That was the one that we saw last week from P-Town Kicks and it's not a subscription based one for them, but I don't know how often they're dropping boxes and we have a small sample size from them but so far it looks pretty good either way they're both super reputable companies and we'll be checking out this one today but before we get into this box i do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's episode rose gold and black rose gold and black is a premier minimalistic jewelry company that i have been using for a very long time guys literally like almost all of my jewelry is from rose gold and black and what's really cool about them is they're continuing to like expand their inventory into like different sectors of like jewelry and like fashion and one of the things that they just recently got is this thing over over here it's a very nice minimal watch and I'll actually show you guys under the overhead cam what it looks like because this is a really nice piece I like the simplicity of it and it just has a really like clean aesthetic you know like you're just walking around on the street and stuff it has like a very like stand out kind of look and what I really love about this in particular is that it's a really affordable product everything on rolls golden black is extremely affordable but you get very very high quality stuff if you guys use the link in the description below you guys actually will get 25% off and for a limited time you will also get a free complimentary bracelet as well so make sure you guys use that link check it out anyway let's get into the sneaker mystery box now yo okay okay this is interesting the first shoe that i see on top is like it's in a plastic box but we got to save that one for last because that one's super expensive uh we'll start off with this one over here though jordan one low in a size 12 okay and for this first one oh okay we got a ds shoe right off the bat it's a pair of the court purple Jordan 1 lows. It's actually wrapped up. So I'm assuming this one is DS. Let me see. It does say dead stock. Other shoe we'll take a look at closer though. This one is not wrapped up in plastic. Honestly, this is not too bad. I'm not a big fan of Jordan 1 lows, but this colorway on this shoe actually looks pretty clean. Very nice quality leather on here. Uh, you guys can see that stitched in Air Jordan logo on the back. The tongue over here also features a purple jump man, which I think is kind of cool. And bottoms are obviously not worn because this is a brand new dead stock shoe. So DS pricing, that's the kind of stuff we want to see and i'm also going to mention for the new guys to the channel if you guys do want to buy any of the shoes in this box they will be located on untiedhawaii.com so you guys can check it out over there everything that's for sale will be up on the web store if you guys don't see it on there it usually means that it's already sold out so please don't email me asking like oh is this shoe still available if it's not on the website it's probably not available guys sorry about that it sells out quick all right we got a couple dude there's some bangers in this box i'm not gonna lie like i can't wait i hope you guys can't see that one in the back i don't want you guys to see that surprise we'll just keep going though let's pull out this one over here uh, Yeezy 700 box in a size 11, size 11. And for this one, I think, oof, I don't even know. I want to guess that these are called the Van to 700s <laughs> dude he has so many like random names for his shoes and by he i mean kanye west and just so much different colorways that i can't remember all the names at this point it's like crazy uh but yeah you guys can check this one out i'm holding it loosely because it is worn the suede upper over here is starting to fade already because it has been worn so much bottoms obviously dirty on this one too but i don't see like any like crazy like cuts or tears in this so or maybe like a seven out of ten for this one somewhere around there definitely looks like a good like beat em up kind of shoe very basic kind of color black on here not too bad so this next one over here i've never seen the short box before it's a little bit smashed you guys can see that smash up corner this is new though what is this jordan 3 bio bit is this really the justin timberlake ones oh i guess so the into the wild into the wild is that what it's called this should be the JT though. And it definitely is the Justin Timberlake threes. I believe that this one was first released during the Super Bowl of like 2018 or something. It was a shock drop during halftime, whichever year Justin performed at. But this was a shoe that dropped and I've never seen this one in person before. I think there was actually two different drops for this. There was the JT ones, which have like special Justin Timberlake like branding on it. And then there was also just the regular bio beige, which didn't have the JT logos on it. The colorway is exactly the same, just some little like minor details. I think on the inside, if you guys can take a look at that, it says fame is a lie on the sole over there. Very hard to see. I think this is supposed to be JT signature. I'm not sure. Very, very interesting. So the next shoe that we will pull out is this one. Uh, this is kind of a random sneaker. Jordan 10 of some sort. It's like a, another kind of court purple Jordan 10. Uh, this one isn't a size 9.5. Maybe it's from like the all-star drop. It has kind of like that all-star Jordan 1 look where if you guys kind of move it in the light, 
has like a like scales or like I, I don't really know what it's called pearlescent kind of looks something like that but this one is worn and without a box you guys can see what I mean like up close when you guys like kind of move it around the color kind of changes a little bit over here very very interesting bottoms are pretty clear still even though it has been worn it looks like it's been worn maybe a couple times only so that's good to see and no markings on the shoe or anything so overall pretty solid condition probably like a 9 out of 10 so I'm guessing the counter is kind of lagging on this $5,000 box so far so I'll boost it up right here with this pair we got a crazy pair of sneakers over here guys you guys can check that out a pair of air easy one blinks over here very nice condition it looks like and this one is in a size size 13 dang this is a big size if this was a size 10.5 I would have to consider keeping these because this is honestly like one of the best condition blinks that I've seen in a minute now uh, air easy blinks definitely a worn pair I think it's very very hard to find a DS pair these days but this one is worn however like I mentioned not super Super worn down a little bit of toe box creasing over the top over here suede is a little bit worn down over here but bottoms look at that almost no star loss on the front which is great to see and another thing that you guys do want to look for is the Y patterns uh, if the Y patterns are really worn down that kills the value quite a bit however it looks like a lot of the Y pattern is still very much intact over here like I said one of the best used air Yeezy blinks on the market probably speaking of Yeezys we can take a look at another like older Yeezy model these are a pair of the moon rocks size 9.5 and I gotta say out of the three original like Yeezy v1s this is probably my favorite colorway the pirate black are okay and the Oxford tans are probably the worst in my opinion moon rocks honestly very very nice colorway no tears on the upper which is great bottoms the boost still looks pretty solid uh, it's pretty spongy still which is what you want to see on this too if it was like completely stiff that's not a good sign it doesn't look like the traction over here has a lot of wear either which is pretty good to see as much as people like knock like the new Yeezy colorways and stuff myself included the OG colorways still fetch a very solid price and they go really really quickly I'm hoping that they retro the V wants to be honest because I wouldn't mind getting a fresh pair of these this is nice all right we got maybe three shoes in here left it looks like three shoes this one's in a bag which is really interesting and a shoe that I'm not familiar with it says men size 12 on the bag and anytime Soul Steels puts it in a ziplock it has to be a good shoe but I don't think this is that hype of a shoe this is actually a pair of the a cold wall Air Force One lows in a black colorway this is not something that I think fetches a lot of money so I'm not sure why they put it in the bag maybe it just gets damaged really easy but this one is not super, super hype. And when I'm looking at it up close, maybe it's because this one might be a dead stock pair. I assume that this would have a lot of like creasing over the top. That's why if it was tried on, there's no creasing at all on this. Also no sock lint on the back heel and bottoms look pretty darn clear except for some like dust which comes off pretty easily so i want to say that this is a new pair dude the lace setup on this is kind of interesting too look there's like no lace holes over here it's literally just tied up in the middle and that's it <laughs> that's kind of cool i like that very unique all right two shoes left in here size 13 air foam posit it says air foam posit and whoa what the heck is this colorway this one is weird i have not seen this foam posit before this is a strange one guys check that thing out it's a foam posit that has like a lightning bolt going through it or something this is really really interesting i'm surprised on this one on the box it says 1996 all-star i'm not sure what this is supposed to like represent over here but you guys can check it out up close this one looks to be a dead stock pair Honestly, the foam pauses are super underrated in my opinion. I know that foam pauses popped off like a while back, but because of this upper, you can do so many like different designs and stuff, which you can't do on like a Jordan one. So I really like appreciate the foam pauses for that. Bottoms do look to be brand new and I don't see any scuffing on the upper. So we're gonna call this one DS. I really wanna know how much this one's going for though, cause I've never seen this before. And for the last shoe of the box guys, this is the one that I saw from the very beginning. And I know that this one is at least probably half the price of the box, if not more. It's a very expensive one. and the shoe that I'm talking about is this bad boy over here Air Jordan 1 off-whites in a white colorway dude this was the European only release I wonder what size this is oh come on it looks like a smaller size I'm guessing a size eight whoa okay interesting size seven size seven and it does have a tag over here size seven tried on no box they said it was going for 2400 that may or may not be right I gotta go check that out it's a super small sneaker when you guys look at it size 7 is pretty tiny but it is also a rarer size so that might mean that it's going for more money uh, it does have like this baby blue zip tie over here uh, not laced up and bottoms when you guys look at it up close like I mentioned just a little bit of dirt on there nothing crazy 
even the top doesn't look like it has stainings or like markings so pretty darn close to ds so overall i want to say that this was another good success of a soul Steelers mystery box just the blanks and the off-white ones have to fetch a solid amount of money so i'm assuming that's probably like maybe 3500 4000 just by those two shoes i do want to hear you guys' opinions though do you guys think this box was better or did you guys also think the five thousand dollar box from p-town kicks was better in terms of like recent hype i would say the p-towns is better just because i mean they had the trophy room ones which were dead stock so that means i could sell it instantly and get my money back for the white off whites because they're not dead stock i gotta find the right buyer for those so it's kind of a little bit more tough but like i said before you can't go wrong with either of these shops they're both very legit and i'm sure there's value on both of these boxes anyway that is actually it for this video though guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys did don't forget to drop a like down below thank you guys so much for watching though and until next time guys stay humble stay blessed take care and i will see you on the next episode aloha shoot